everybody, welcome back to Rock You. My name is Michael. Today we're going to work on a song by Ray Charles called What I Say. This is one of my favorite songs, and it's one of the earliest uses of a Wurlitzer. And in case you guys don't know, um, a Wurlitzer is a, a keyboard that came out back in the early 60s, and it sounds a little bit like this. Uh, it's kind of one of the first electric keyboards, really. And Ray Charles kind of made it famous by this hook at the intro of What I Say. It goes like this. It's pretty simple, but it's also very iconic, too. It's a good way to practice your rhythm and a little bit of your um, both-handed skills. The way this starts is you want to put your left hand on E, down in the bass, and then in the same octave, you're going to use your right hand to play these three notes, B, D, and E. And the, the pattern is kind of what makes this so groovy. So you hit your E, with your left hand, and then the pattern in your right hand goes like this. And then you're going to hit your E again, so it sounds like this. Now one thing that's just a little bit tricky about this is that um, the second time you hit that low E note, you hit it a little bit before the one. So if you're thinking one, two, three, four, that second E happens just before the one. It's a little bit early. You'll hear what I'm talking about. So that second and fourth time through is just a kind of a stab early, um, and that's what makes it so signature. So one more time, low E, and your notes in your right hand are B, D, and E, like this. Four times, and then we switch the same pattern to A. So in your left hand, you're going to hit A, and then the three notes leading up to A. E, G and A. So you play the same pattern with your left and your right hand, just move it up to an A. Two times. Back to E. And then we're going to go to B for the last two chords. So on B, the three notes leading up are F sharp, A, and B in your right hand, B in your left hand. Play that one time, and then play an A one time and then we're back to E again. Okay, so to review, it's E four times, A two times, E two times, B one time, A one time, and back to E. Should be enough to get you started and then start jamming with Ray Charles on the rest of the song. Thanks guys, I'll see you next time with Rock You.